Hi, this is Personal Tutor, and today we will talk about the Open Boot environment. As you know, all the Spark hardware has Open Boot environment compared to BIOS. You know, as in Intel hardware, you have BIOS to interact with hardware before the operating system. The same way, in uh, same way in Spark hard hardware, we have an NVRAM chip, uh, also called as OBP, Open Boot. PROM chip. That chip is kind of um, a way to interact with the hardware before we install the operating system. This is also command based. It's also called OK prompt. Uh, as you can see, the prompt says OK. That's why it's called OK prompt. Uh, the versions can be, uh, the firmware version can be upgraded on this one, but it's usually read only. Uh, you don't change it very often. So we will see the commands that we run here. They are different than OS commands. The first command we will talk about is help. You know, help shows you um, all the commands that you want to run or do what you want to do. So as you say, help um, power. So it will show you what commands can you run like reset all or power off or help diag. So these are the diag commands. So this way if you run help it will tell you what all areas you can get help and then the commands. So it's one way to find a command if you forgot one but we will talk about most of the commands. Next we'll see is the devices. Um, show devs is a command to see the devices attached. See it has CPU cores and PCI cards and drives and packages and all those things. But if you just want to see disks, it's show disks. So it has only two disks, as you can see. And one HBA card is also showing as disk, but uh, we're, oh, there are only two disks, as you can see. Another command we would see is um, dev alias. It's a very important command. So if you have multiple disks and if you have multiple network cards, so you create aliases of those disks and network cards. So let's say you have um, eight disks, like, um, and the name of the disks are from this PCI F400 PCI. Um, from 0 to 7, you create alias as this 0, disk 1, disk 2, and so on. So that when you use them, uh, you don't have to say the whole path. You just say disk 0 or disk 1. Like, uh, I'm not going to boot, but I'm going to show you if, you want, if I want to boot it from disk 7, I'll just say boot disk 7. So it will just pick up the 8th drive. <laughs> You can see all the aliases from um, dev alias, dev alias. But if you want to uh, create alias, the command is nv alias. You say nv alias and then alias name, say disk nine, and give this say not eight. So now dev alias. Or create disk nine over there. You say disk nine, and it's created an alias. That way you can create create alias. If you want to delete the alias, it's nv unalias disk nine. It's gone. So one very important thing. Um is to know about the environment variables at OK prompt. So to check the environment variables, the command is print env. It will show me all the environment variables that we have here. And there are a few of them very important, like boot device. We need to 
make sure uh, whatever device you want to boot from it should be mentioned here so if I change the boot device from disk to net it will boot from network this is default boot device and there's another important variable called auto boot auto if auto boot is true that means when you uh, switch on a box it just starts on its own you do not it will not stop at ok prom as soon as it will come to ok prom it will boot with the default boot device that is auto boot and uh, we we could uh, switch on this diag switch if you switch it on it would run extended post every time you uh, boot the system what extended post is it's a power on tell power on self-test um, extensively running it could take an hour to finish so to set the environment variables uh, we use the command set env and then um, variable name here say auto boot so do you um, see a question mark after that means it can hold the boolean value either true or false so we can say false but now auto boot is false so when you reboot this system it will stop at OK prompt if I say print env um, I'll see auto boot is false now its default behavior is true but we have made it false and I can say print env and just say auto boot so it will just show me the value of auto boot not all of them so this is how you change the value of um, environment variables you can reset all the values to default the command is set defaults I'm not gonna do that right now it's gonna mess up all the values that I created so, but you just remember set defaults would set all the um, command all the environment variables to default at OK prompt you can even um, set a password just say password command um, so if you press enter it will ask you a new eight character password I'm not gonna set a password here but you can so it's kinda added security um, uh, if you set a password every time you boot a system or reset all variables do that kind of thing that time it will ask you the password so it's an additional layer of security um, in the end of this uh, chapter I want to talk to you about um, some probe commands so it probe command is very important uh, with new systems you want to see whether you're able to detect the device say you connected a new card or new disk uh, you want to see whether it's there so you can scan through all the devices uh, by probe commands say you want to check all the internal SCSI bus devices the command would be probe SCSI so it um, sorry typo probe SCSI it will scan through um, and try to identify all the devices attached to internal SCSI bus it's gonna take time time and run it here so it's showing all the hard drives um, here all the hard drives are connected through internal SCSI bus all our 146 gig drives one two three four five six seven eight eight drives say you connected the new hard drive it will show up here what if you want to scan uh, not just the internal SCSI bus but to any SCSI bus so you would say probe SCSI all so it first scanned the internal bus which where these eight drives are connected and then after that it there's a USB connected over there so it found that so it's 
see it's an external SCSI drive it scanned that too what if you want to see the IDE device if there is an ID so say probe ID oh, there's none because it does not even have uh, ID this is a new based server older ones used to have IDs there this command was important and again reset all will reset all the values to default and then reboot on the OBP Uh, so that was uh, probe commands. I don't think there's anything important left in this. Uh, you can, uh, there's one more command if you want to see it. It's called show nets. So it will show you network cards and key to quit. So you, if you have multiple network cards, it will show all those network cards you can see with show nets. So with the boot command, you can just boot the system. So that was OBP, and thanks for watching.